Well, folks, just last night I mod built uh, my own modified train station. And yeah, it's pretty neat. So let's check it out. As you can see, BNSF 3001's parked right near the platform. And it's perfect. Like, these are from my boards from my video from me failing at the board breaking. But right after Grandpa stopped recording, I finally got it broken. So you can go check that video out. Yeah, the board lines up perfectly with the engine. Like, if you if like if you put some jam on a piece of bread, that's how smooth it is. But yeah, it's perfect. Look at that. I even had the train track right there, then another one right there. I know it even even got the signals right there. And this is my dad's old train station. Also fits perfectly. It's just like you walk up here and oh there's a train parked. Also a signal for the two tracks. Like this one's just a second main line and this one it's my dad's old Southern Pacific 3702 engine, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really nice train station. I have to feel, add, oh, I know, I know a good thing. But yeah, I, I just want the engine to run around the layout for a minute. Hang on, hang on. Let me just get it set up at the train station. I'm not sure if that's possible. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Let's plug in the power supply real quick. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to pull a little caboose around. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna, okay, I'm just gonna get it on the track. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, dang it, it's off the track, it's off the track. This is the back wheel is. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, get on the tracks, get on the tracks. Okay, hang on, guys, it might take a moment. You can skip ahead of this part if you want. So, uh, I'm just gonna back it up. I'm gonna pull around a little tiny caboose. Okay, I'm gonna have to manually couple this up. Just to make sure. There you go. Look at that. Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, okay, okay. Bruh. 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 Man. This might take a few moments. This thing just... It's not... Okay, there you go. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Okay. It's going, it's going it's good on the rails. Oh, we have to see a pass by this train station. Look at this. Here she comes. Oh, that looks cool. There it goes, BSL 3001. Hold around. Here, we should do it like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this, just looking down there at the train station. Oh, this looks good. Just passing by the camera. Yeah, we should get a little bit of a up close view of it passing by. It's about to come around. Here she comes. Man, that looks good. Okay. She's still coming. New Hampshire Road, Railroad Crossing. Yeah, I want to see what the tractor does whenever it's on the tracks. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to be brutal. So brutal. Just in case. Oh, 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 my gosh. Bro. Oh, no. Hey, hey, that that didn't do a lot of damage. How about the Batmobile? Man, the Joker's really gonna be happy about this. Not putting the Batmobile on the tracks. I'm gonna slow it down so I don't cause too much damage. Oh, that didn't do a lot. Well, hopefully Joker's happy. <laughs> Actually, I, I don't think. We're gonna be putting a Porsche. Okay, let's see how she goes. Okay, you're just, you're just looking at the butt of it. Oh! Oh, that actually sounded bad. That's going to cost like $1.5 million. That damage. Now, you guys are not going to believe it. But, yes, it's the one and only Bentley. I actually have a kid at school who's named Bentley. Oh, boy, this is not going to go well. Not the Bentley. I bet all the rich guys out there are going to be so upset. I'm pretty sure. I just... <laughs> also got this Bronco. A kid at school gave me this. From summer school. Okay, that was nice of him. So, so luckily I have it for a crash test. Chica boom! It actually tipped it over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to place it in the train station. <coughs> oh, oh my god! That actually kind of good. This is gonna like this is gonna be my dream truck for chasing trains. <laughs> And you can see the engine. I stop at the train station and start recording. And then, oh no! Boom! Boom! 
Oh, I actually kind of hit it. Now we're going to do a full speed. And, um, yes, they're going to be putting the Bronco on there again. Boom. Oh, oh we just yeeted that off the trucks. Okay, okay. Here, what happens if we put a Bree Dotson? Oh, 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 we lost the caboose. We lost the caboose. There was so much pressure that I lost the caboose. Okay, couple on. Boom. Now that's what I call gentle. Oh my gosh, I actually derailed it. How fast I went. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, make sure it goes straight. I'm going to put a tractor on the tracks again. Let's see how this goes. Oh, oh that actually went kind of good. Yeah, it's still flying. Literally flying down the tracks. Just imagine, dee dee die, you're waiting at the station, then zoom! And that thing flies. I actually have it scrolled in right now. You can even see. Oh my gosh, sorry if my camera work sounds sloppy. Man, just imagine you're waiting on a railroad crossing. You look down the street and you just look at the railroad crossing and then you see a train going that fast. And then you hear a crashing noise off in the distance. Probably means the train's derailed. Oh, this, oh, this is good look. This is actually a real recording. <laughs> oh, yo! That, bruh. How you feeling, cow? I mean, if I was sitting on this cow, I would have. I would have only suffered a so slight headache. This cow. Bro, look how close it is to the cow's butt. I wish I caught that on camera, but look. It flipped the engine on its side. What the heck? Okay, okay, I'm actually... Okay. That is actually startling. Um, yeah, yeah, guys, this would be a perfect opportunity to see why, you're, why you have to be careful of the uh, trains. Because you can't see some sparks. Why well, you gotta be careful with trains. Not all trains here and there. I'm just gonna scroll in a bit there. I'm pretty sure you guys kind of saw some bark sparks. Man, this thing really wants to go. Oh, guess it doesn't. Yeah, there's a Bachman logo under there. Get this thing back on the track. Oh my gosh, this thing just wants to go so bad. Okay. Oh, dang it, I forgot. I, I left that on the track, so now it's derailed again. In the same position that he was in. Oh my gosh. Come on, you can go. You can do it. You can do it, buddy. Oh, dang it. It's, it's still derailed. Still derailed? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take a minute. Bruh, bruh. Get on. Maybe you have to stop the train because that'll make it a lot easier. You know what I'm saying? And my friend Wyatt's coming over to my house this Friday. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to bother coupling up the caboose because that's just going to be so hard. I'm just going to let the engine run down the tracks. Here she comes. Here comes the engine. Here she comes. Wee! In real life, if the thing... Yeah, watch. In real life, if this thing was going this fast on a curve, it would derail and it would go like a mile. Yeah. It's also got lighting. I'm not sure if you guys even saw that, but yeah, look at that. It's actually got lighting. It's going backwards. Hang on. This might be a good time to set up. Set up one tiny coal car. Okay, I'm going to set up my Wisconsin Central coal hopper. It's going to be a really tiny freight train. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna move it up a bit. I'm gonna place my caboose right here. I'm gonna let it go a few laps. Bruh. Okay. I'm gonna make it go normal freight train speed. Well, folks, that's gonna be it for this really cool episode. Bye, guys.